What's good, Eagles fans? I'm your humble host, Tone the Shields the Second, and y'all are tuned into another episode of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge it to the game. Listen, y'all, we were not left with any sort of bad luck or bad news from that Baltimore Ravens loss. Zach Ertz and Miles Sanders, who both left the game quite early, and they are also going to be out for quite some time. So when it pertains to Zach Ertz, Zach Ertz will be out for three to four weeks and Miles Sanders will be out for one to two weeks. So we are once again shorthanded and we have almost no starters on offense unless you count our quarterback who's been struggling throughout the season and unless you count our starting center who has been our Iron Man on the offensive line. Um, but he's up there and he plans on retiring, I'm sure, you know, within the next year or so. But we are sure-handed once again. But I'm not going to lie, though. As much as I love Zach Ertz, as much as I love Miles Sanders, and Miles Sanders is a young gun, so this doesn't really apply to him. Um, he'll be back. I'm glad we dodged the bullet with Miles Sanders. That injury could have been way, way worse. But when it comes to Zach Ertz, right? We have been going through our own qualms with Zach Ertz this season, and particularly contract talks. He hasn't been playing up to par, and now we have a pretty significant injury that will influence his value when it comes to contract talks. Now, I firmly believe the Eagles are trying to move on from Zach Ertz, which is why I believe they were trying so hard to force that ball to him throughout that Ravens game earlier on in the first half. They were trying so hard to force that ball to him. I'm starting to believe they're trying to validate or revalidate um, his value. And I believe they're honestly just trying to move on from him. I think they're trying to show that he still has it and that, you know, they. I, I just think they're trying to get, you know, some change for him. I think they're trying to get a nice chunk for him and they're trying to just validate his value. It's just that simple. Um, I get it, but I don't like it because it caused us to be extremely limited in that first half and we weren't really able to really expand our offensive catalog and really take advantage of certain things. And it led us to not getting any first down until about that second quarter, late second quarter when Jalen Hurts came in and did his thing to get us somewhat, you know, electrified, I guess you'll say. But... Zach Ertz, there's an upside to him being gone. One is the simple fact that it's going to force Carson Wentz and the play callers to not rely on his presence. And therefore, it's going to really, really show just how good the wide receivers that we drafted and we have on our roster really are. Um, we really need to see Travis Fogum dominate like we've been seeing him do. Um, we really need to see John Hightower come into his own and get that confidence up. We need to see Quez Watkins, you know, come out. Um, get that confidence up. And also, Dallas Guarded, I believe, has been cleared to practice. So, when one door closes, another one opens. And this may be the perfect time for Dallas Goddard to really just solidify the fact that he is the future and Zach Gertz is, is a thing of the past. But, you always tuned into another episode of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. I'm your humble host, Tony Seals II. One love, y'all. Fly, Eagles, fly.